Welcome everyone. So today I am going to show you how to find the square root of an imperfect number. Okay. This looks quite difficult but trust me I am going to show you a method which, which you can actually find your answer very very close to. <coughs> Sorry my bad. <coughs> very little difference you can figure out in your actual answer and the answer which we will get with this particular method. Okay, now before beginning with this, I will start with a smaller example. Okay, so let's um, say we are trying to find square root of, <coughs> let's say we are trying to find square root of 8. Okay, so here what you have to do is, see, you have to always, any imperfect square, you have to represent it in the form of 1 plus or minus x, the whole raise to n. Okay. And then that can be almost equal to what 1 plus minus n into x. This is the only thing which you need to remember. So now here this 8 what we'll do is we'll write 8 as um, something in the form of what perfect square plus or minus some value. Okay. So I can write this as nothing but what 9 minus 1. Okay. So now what happens is that I will have to take. I want this first term to be 1. Okay, so I will take what 9 outside. Okay, so I'll get 1 minus 1 upon 9. Okay, and everything is still under a root. Okay, now here I will start with my solving. So what will happen over here is 9 under a root and then I have 1 minus 1 upon 9. Instead of root, I'll do 1 upon 2. <coughs> Sorry, I hope this is very, very clear to every one. So now what happens here is C. Root of 9 becomes 3. And I will have 1 minus 1 upon 9. And then I will have just 1 upon 2 also getting multiplied. Okay. So I will have into 1 upon 2. Okay. So then what happens is we will take this 3 inside. So I will have 3 minus 3 upon 2 into 9 gets you 18. Okay. I hope this is very very clear to every 1. Okay. So now what happens is see we were left with what 3 minus 3 upon 18. So this can now be equal to 3 minus 1 upon 6. Okay. So now let's do this division this 1 upon 6 division first. So we'll write 3 minus 1 upon 6 is nothing but what 0 0.1 then we have left with what 4 so that gets you 6 and then again that gets you 6 and that gets you 6 so basically that is recurring so what we will do is we will take the decimal or we will round it off so we will get what 3 minus 0 0.167 okay so here what will happen in this case is um, we will just do the subtraction so we will get 2 0.833 okay now let's multiply this and you will see in the calculator when you multiply 2 or we'll take the square if we take the square of this the final answer comes out to be 8.025 which is very very close to what square root of 8 okay so this i can say or other value of 8 actually i should not say square root of 8 that is actually value of 8 Okay, so I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. So therefore, I can say that square root, square root of 8 value is nothing but what 2.833. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. All you have to remember, all you have to remember is this particular value. This particular representation is super important for anyone who is trying to find square root of an imperfect square. Okay, so now let's go and do this. Okay, so what we'll do over here is again, we will see, remember, I'll just write it one more time over here. We'll try to write everything in terms of what 1 plus minus x, the whole raised to n. Okay, so here what we'll do is see, 70 can be written as what? Um, can I say 64 plus 6, 64. I mean, I'll write it, everything has to be written in its, you know, like, uh, perfect square plus or minus some value okay so now what we'll do is 
we'll take 64 outside i'll be left with what 1 plus 6 upon 64 everything is still under the root so now let's split the root what we'll get in this case is root 64 okay and i'll write this 1 plus 6 upon 64 raised to half right then what happens is root of 64 gets you what just 8 and this will become 1 plus 6 upon 64 this will get multiplied by 1 into 1 upon 2 now if you look closely things are getting cancelled 2 ones are and 3s are so let's do one thing we'll put the 8 inside the bracket so we'll get 8 into 1 gets you 8 plus 8 into 3 upon 64 okay so what you are left with is 1s and 8s. So here what you are getting is nothing but what 8 plus 3 upon 8. Okay. And this my dear friends this comes out to be 8 plus 3 upon 8 is nothing but what 0 0.375. So your final answer comes out to be something around 8.375. And <coughs> when you start taking the square root 8.375 into 8.375, when you do that, what you will get is the answer comes out to be when you take the squares of this, okay, the answer comes out to be 70.14, okay. So, like I said, that the value of this will give you a near about value okay very close to the value of the imperfect square okay so therefore i can say that root of 70 is nothing but 8.375 now <coughs> sorry apart from this if you have any doubts please put them in the comment section as you all know i am daily uploading more than two videos on this channel and i also upload shorts in which most of them are like math puzzles okay so if you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and now just for a quick revision you if there is a, something like imperfect square okay let's not do this i will write a alphabet if you have a where a is in the imperfect format so what we'll do is we'll write we'll try to convert it in terms of what one plus minus x raised to n or raised to half sorry raised to half okay so your next step would be what just 1 plus minus x upon 2 or x into half that gets you x upon 2 these are the only things which you need to remember okay in this entire process you will get some value over here okay which can be n it will be a proper natural number okay so that's it for today i will definitely see you in the next video